Vikings, I'm Mrs. Nessheim. I'm one of the associate principals and also the activities director at the high school. Hi Vikings, I'm Mrs. Corcoran. I am the other associate principal here at Mount Horror High School. Hi Vikings, this is Mr. Lundquist and I get to be the principal here at Mount Horror High School. We are absolutely excited to have you here this school year. And in this video, you'll get to meet all the different teachers in the different departments. So welcome to the 2021 school year. Have a great year. Go Vikings. <laughs>
ready for action. Hi, I'm Mrs. Cook and I team teach in the math department. Uh, the fashion trend that I worked super hard to try to achieve in the 80s was uh, the big hair and big earrings trend. Um, I worked super hard to get my hair really big. It's not big anymore. Um, and it looked really good at the time, <laughs> but not now. Welcome to the first day of school. Bonjour. The question is, if you could choose a person from history to be your imaginary friend, who would it be? I would choose King Louis XIV, because to go and hang out at his house at Versailles would be a whole lot of fun. Merci, au revoir. Hello, my name is Marcy Pratt and I teach Spanish. And I am answering the question, if I could choose anyone from history to be my imaginary friend, who would I choose and why? My answer, I would choose Frida Kahlo. Why? Because she was a fascinating person and I think she would be a really interesting friend. Thanks. Hi, Miss Deswick here. If I could choose a famous imaginary friend, I would choose Kurt Vonnegut. He's my favorite author and he has a lot of wise things to say. Okay, uh, my question, by the way, I'm uh, Mr. Cassidy and my question is, if uh, you can pick someone from history to be your imaginary friend, who would it be? Without a doubt, um, my the best imaginary friend I could ever have would be Mr. Malecki. Oh wait, I just looked at the question. I thought it said if you could pick anybody from the history department. And that's why I picked Mr. Malecki. But you know what? Actually, even if I picked anybody from history. Hi, I'm uh, Mr. Newman. I'm a resource teacher and also uh, the varsity boys and girls soccer coach. Uh, my question is uh, if I were to pick a person from history to be my imaginary friend, I would select Johan Cruyff, uh, the great soccer player, manager, uh, and thinker because I, he has taught me so much looking at the game and I would find it very, very interesting. Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Sieg. Um, I'm a SOAR teacher for the 10th and 11th grade students, and I also work with the GED Option 2 program. Um, if there was zombie apocalypse, I would want Giannis from the Bucks on my team because he's a fierce competitor and does anything he can to win. I would also want Barack Obama because he can negotiate with anyone and I think he can negotiate a settlement so we would still win. And I think the third person would be Ruth Ruth Bader Ginsburg because she's probably one of the smartest women I know and she could definitely figure out a way out of it if we needed her. So those are my people I'd pick for my team. Hope you all have Hey everybody, I am Miss Hillary and I am the librarian here and I am choosing to answer the question, the zombie apocalypse is coming. Who are three famous people that you would choose for your team? Well, I've read my fair share of uh, zombie apocalypse novels and I've watched way too many hours of The Walking Dead so I'm pretty comfortable saying that my team is going to be made up of um, Bear Grylls for some pretty obvious survival reasons. I am selecting a fictional character uh, Katniss Everdeen um, also seems pretty obvious she uh, is great with bow and arrow so she can um, ensure that I have food to eat um, and help with protection and then uh, lastly more for fun I am selecting Hugh Jackman um, because I need some entertainment so a handsome man who can sing and tap dance seems like a good person to have on my team hi everybody I'm Miss Brynig and I teach English at the high school and if I were part of the zombie apocalypse and I had to assemble a team of celebrities to help me out I don't think there's a question to it it would have to be Emma Stone, Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, and I would pick a bonus celebrity, and that would be Bill Murray, because there's no other choice, right? All right, hope to see you soon. I'm a senior essay. I don't do a lot of karaoke, but when I do, it's in the car by myself. I like to sing some old school jams, like some Disney songs. A whole new world, a new fantastic oh! Hello, everyone. My name is Bart Leifried, and I am a high school technology and engineering teacher. Um, that's within the CTE department. 
And if I had to sing karaoke, it would be anything country. Uh, anything especially from my good friend, uh, Luke Combs. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mack. I'm a new English teacher here at the high school. I teach freshman English. And the, the question that I chose to get to know me a little bit better is, uh, if you had to sing one song at karaoke, what would it be? And mine, of course, would be Tequila by The Champs, because there aren't many lyrics that you need to sing, and I'm not the best singer. So to demonstrate that, I'm actually gonna show you what I mean. So I'll just press play really quick. And while you're listening to the instrumentals, there's a lot that you can do. Um, for one, I, I love Nintendo, so I can play Animal Crossing, I can build a new garden for my, my little village. Um, I'm also a fan of reading when the book isn't upside down, so To Kill a Mockingbird, I could like get to the fifth chapter by the time this song is done, but my cue is coming up, so here it, here it comes. Here it comes. Tequila! Hi, I'm Miss Carol. I teach marketing and business, and if I could sing any karaoke song, um, it's probably going to be off How Far I'll Go from Moana, which I'm not going to sing now, but I promise if you ever come on a DECA trip with me, you probably will hear me sing that and lots of other Disney classics. My name is Martha Kohler Faust. I am one of the FIAD teachers. I also am the head gymnastics coach. And if I were to sing karaoke, here is my song. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. So good, so good. Hey everyone, my name is Ms. Schultz and I'm a family and consumer science teacher. If I had to pick a karaoke song to sing, I would sing Don't Worry Be Happy. But don't worry, I'll keep your ears happy and I won't sing it for you. If I had to sing karaoke. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Hi everyone and welcome to Mount Horeb High School. My name is Miss Winnicky. I am one of the counselors here. I work with all students whose last names start with L through Z. Um, my question is which apps I would keep on my cell phone if I had to delete all but three. So I would keep the photos app where I can organize and um, look at all the pictures of my kids from growing up. Um, I would keep my Facebook app so I can keep up with all of my friends and news and gossip. Um, and then the third app I would keep is Free Cell, which is a card game that I'm kind of obsessed with. Um, I have to play and win at least one game every night before I can go to bed. So welcome everyone. My name's Todd Nessheim, physical education teacher and head boys basketball coach at the high school. I guess the question I'm gonna answer today are what three apps wouldn't I delete off my phone? And they would be Twitter, TikTok, which I'm a new user to and can't seem to put it down. And I think I'd go with my banking app. I no longer have to go to the bank. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Showers. I'm one of the high school art teachers here. And my question is, if you could host your own late night talk show, who would you have on as your first guest? And obviously, I would have on Miss King, the other high school art teacher, because she is a hoot and super entertaining, and everybody would love every minute of it. Thanks, bye. Hello, my name is Taylor Rosemeyer, and I'm the new transition coordinator at the high school. Um, if I were a talk show host, my first celebrity guest would be Chris Pratt, um, because chances are I'd be really bad at being a talk show host, so I only get one shot, and he's the person I'd like to meet the most. I'm Kelly Richardson. I'm Maureen McCarthy. And I'm Patty Weber. We really do hope to see you in person soon at an undetermined date. Mrs. Stretter. Mrs. Plaggy. Mrs. Clark. Mr. Ball. Mr. Shea. Mr. Lazar. Mr. Jakes. And together we are the, the Science, Science Department. Department. I am Teresa Berry, and we are the Mount Horeb High School Social Studies Department. If I needed help with my history homework, I would contact Mr. Malecki. You know what, Miss Barry? I think I might have the same answer. 
I'm Beth Malio, right? Taught here for 25 years, going on my 26th. And I believe that Mr. Malecki is the best history tutor. What do you think, Mr. Sauer? Well, let me think about that. I'm Mr. Sauer, I'm Mike Sauer. I teach AP Psych and World History. If I needed help with my history homework, gosh, out of all the people, I think I would choose John Malecki. Mr. Mueller and I sense a consensus. I would also choose Mr. Malecki. <laughs> Mr. Malecki, I teach AP World History, Current Affairs, and MUSH. And if I had to choose someone to help me with my history homework, obviously I would choose myself. Hi, we're the math department. This is Shredder. Mrs. Lumpke. Mrs. Pomerani. Mrs. Munson. Mr. Gage. And Mr. Kesnick. Mr. Keeley.